Hey YouTube, this is Rubix33, and welcome to part 5 of our PhoneGap Tutorial Series. Alright, so today we are going to cover multi-page apps in jQuery and plugins. Alright, so let's get let's get to it. So here I'm, I'm starting a new project. We just do a whole project that's going to incorporate a lot of different things, and then we're going to learn through this project. I already have it on my GitHub. Check it out. It's PhoneGap-5 is the name. So right here we just have a three-page app. Main page, I have a help button. I don't have a page for that set up yet. We have a, just a flashlight, we click on here. We have a flashlight, we can toggle it on and off. Flashlight will turn on and off. Uh, we'll have a compass, I didn't hook that up yet, and GPS. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, we're gonna use a plugin for the flashlight, and then we're gonna use a plugin for toast notifications as well. Let us know, hey, the flashlight just turned on, it's just turned off. Just get some good practice. All right, so if you guys wanna get plugins and you wanna, Get a new plugin, just go to uh, phone, build.phonegap.com forward slash plugins. And all we can do is type in here flashlight. Comes right up, click on here, and then I always go to their GitHub file. Their GitHub. Go to their GitHub. Then it'll be in their www folder, and that's the flashlight. In this case, you gotta download their little flashlight.js. You need this folder, and then just follow their their instructions. We're not using the command line interface for PhoneGap, so we just go down to PhoneGap build. So in our config file, very important. Well, good thing we learned about that. We gotta throw this in there, letting it know we're using this plugin. Uh, make sure you use a version, just so it doesn't. Uh, otherwise, it'll auto update. Use the latest. Uh, great for this is great for production. This is great for development. And then we can just reference the JavaScript code once we once we bring in our own uh, once we bring in Flashlight JS probably throw it just in your JS folder no need to throw it in another deeper directory and then just follow their usage it's really easy he has you can check availability so if it's going to work you can let your users know or you can change how it's going to work and then they have a really easy window plugins flashlight toggle and that's what I use over here so. So now we have our flashlight brought in here, flashlight JS, and then we can use that. So in my script file here, I just simply have a function flashlight toggle. I call toggle, and then I actually use the plugin. And all it is is you just a link. It's just a little snippet you throw in your config file for the toast notifications, and that's it. There's no nothing to download, just that. And then you can just use the toast notification show. You can show the message, how long, and if it's centered. And then I'm just keeping track of if the light is on or off, so I know letting the user lights on, lights off. So that's pretty simple. That's a plugin in the flashlight. Uh, the config file is right here. I have the plugin for toast, and that's all I absolutely need for that one. And then the flashlight need that. You need the flashlight JS file, and then uh, just start using it. So for multi-pages, so when we go to our page, for jQuery Mobile, this is how it's laid out. We, in order to get to our really cool page that has plugins, we need to be able to navigate to it. So jQuery Mobile, you guys can look up, there's a single page template, they have multi-page templates. They have, the whole idea is they have div tags, and then they have these properties, data dash role, which the data dash is a HTML5 specification, allowing you to make your own custom properties. So they made a custom property role, and whatever it role plays is page. Then you give it a name, and then they have the role header, which is basically the header. It's, you can see that is my help button. Uh, you can look up. They have different icons. You can do a home icon. You can style it to the right or to the left or the center, different transitions. Uh, when I go back, when I have a, my home button, I actually do reverse, so then it makes it feel like we're sliding back to home. So we have the div just it's really explanatory the role is you know in the page and then in there there's a there's a header content and footer content that's our contents and then that's where our links are we looked in our our app and then this is actually the links we we aren't linking to another file locally or externally so this is how we're doing that it's just like anchors basically anchoring but instead jQuery mobile will switch basically the view for you automatically so you just say it's just hashtag flashlight and then I'll go to ID of flashlight so I'll go right here and go to ID flashlight and then now we'll see the flashlight 
So in our header, I had just a title, flashlight. I had the little home button so we can go home. And then a content. I had a button. Gave it the name toggle. Uh, toggle the flashlight. Name it whatever you want. And then on here, I just called flashlight toggle that function that I created. And then my little footer was just copyright me. Or you can say ooga booga. So and eventually we'll throw in our compass and we'll do our GPS. So that's a really basic multi-page template. It's how we throw in our config file and reference plugins. If you guys have any questions, comments, like, subscribe, comment, uh, fork me, all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you next time in part six.